In this section, we are going to discuss batching file formats using wildcard mapping so we can push files into the resource compiler and create DDS files automatically. This will come very, very handy if you just simply have to upgrade to the newest compiler and you want to scrub all your textures, maybe daily, through just a simple automated process. On top of my desktop, I have a batch folder. And inside of this batch folder, I have five barrel textures. And they're all TIFF files. And what we're interested in doing is converting them all to DDS. So what I need to do is I need to call on my resource compiler, which my resource compiler is in my D drive, tools, RC. Now let me go ahead and grab a notepad. And what we're going to do is right click up here and we're going to copy the address as text. And then we're going to finish it out with RC so we can call the actual application inside of the folder. Next, what I want to do is go to my desktop, go into batch, and we're going to copy that address as text. So it's the C users colon desktop batch. And then I'm going to finish that out with a backsplash, asterisk, dot tiff. And now what I need to do is spacebar, forward slash. What we want to do is make sure that it refreshes every single time it does it. And then also we want to make sure that we suppress the window. So we're going to type in user dialog equals zero. So with this, we should be able to execute all of these in a batch process and get DDS files automatically. To do this, we need to go into the command prompt. Copy this text and paste it. Given these files are 2K, it may take a few seconds for it to work properly. So it says it's doing barrel number one, barrel two, barrel 3, barrel 4, barrel 5. So you can see that it's automatically selecting basically the most simple TIFF process. You could enhance this since it, technically speaking, would use a specific file mask. And then you can elaborate on that to be able to push different presets. And this is how you batch files within the resource compiler with specific folders that contain textures that you want to update.